the molecular polarity simulation. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And you might have to double click there. And you'll see that it says uh, Chirp J Runtime Ready is running. That's okay. It's going to take a minute. Um, and I just wanted to let you know that it takes a minute in order to get it to start. And in the meantime, I'll read over number five. Um, the simulation allows us to visualize what it means when a molecule has a dipole versus when it does not have a dipole. Click on the Real Molecules tab once it comes up. For each of the following molecules, draw the molecule with its bond dipoles and with its molecular dipole. Then decide if it's polar or not a polar or nonpolar molecule. If there is no yellow slash orange molecular dipole arrow, then it is a nonpolar molecule. So we were asked to click on Real Molecules, and you can see that uh, the first one, ah, H. So the first one has been done for you. So let me go back to Zoom. The first one has been done for you. That's H2O, uh, although it's not the first one on the list. But let's go ahead and go over that. So we click and we go to H2O. We can see H1 and H2 and the O, same colors as before. And what we're going to be interested in is making sure that we show the di bond dipoles. And the bond dipoles are going to be arrows pointing from hydrogen towards oxygen. That's what we've been talking about in class. And that means that the hydrogen is partially positive and the oxygen is partially negative. Same with this hydrogen over here. We can show partial charges. Uh, and you can see that this one actually gives it numbers. So the delta here is 0 0.38. That's a partial positive charge. Same thing for the other hydrogen. And for the oxygen, it's minus 0 0.75. So it is partially negative, getting close to full on negative though, true. And uh, now let's do the uh, molecular dipole. And the molecular dipole is uh, directed um, towards the oxygen or, or even away from it, but in the direction of the oxygen. So um, please draw that. That's what I've attempted to draw on my figure pretty closely, although you can draw it more like this or more like it's on the page. Now let's go ahead and do another one. So I'm going to now do the next one on list B, which is ammonia. And ammonia, this is a little bit of a tough view, so I'm going to move it a little bit. Well, as we already know, ammonia is a uh, tetrahedral electron geometry. There is a pair of electrons up here that is not shown in this representation of ammonia, but is shown in the previous ones we've talked about. And we've got our, let's see, so let's, let's get rid of the molecular dipole and the partial charges. And now we can start to see that the uh, arrows for hydrogen is pointing towards nitrogen. For hydrogen, this is the plus end, is pointing towards nitrogen. And this one's right next to it, but it's also pointing from this hydrogen, which is closer to us, towards the nitrogen. And um, so, and I'll actually, let's clear out the bond. So you are going to draw bond dipoles. And I suggest you do bond dipoles in one color and molecular dipole in another. Um, now let's do molecular dipole. That's going straight up. And we'll also put the partial charges on here. Uh, and look at that. Nitrogen is a partial charge of 1.01, which is uh, very close to the sum of the other charges there, 9, yeah, which is 1. And it's negative for nitrogen. So we'll be drawing uh, all of these parts, um, although you don't need to list the partial charges. Uh, let's go back to our page now so I can fill it in. So the things that I'm missing from my water. Uh, so first off, my dipoles, I'm going to do my molecular dipole in red. Pointing up like that. Um, and is this a polar or not? So anyone that has 
a molecular dipole is a polar molecule. Now, let's go ahead and do ammonia. And so there's going to be a nitrogen and three hydrogens. And drawing the bond dipoles, they're going to all be pointing from hydrogen to nitrogen. And then drawing the molecular dipole, it's going to be straight up. And you can draw them as straight regular arrows or as plus arrows, as we've done in lecture. This is also a polar molecule. Polar because it has a molecular dipole. And so far, just thinking about dipoles, so there is no left and right part to the molecular dipole because this right part and this left part cancel out, but the up part it does not cancel, and in fact, that's why this goes up as a molecular dipole. Similar thing going on here. There's lots of left and rights uh, down here, but then all of these have a portion going up, and that's what creates a molecular dipole going up right here. Um, good. Now, uh, in contrast, let's go ahead and look at CH4, then I'll turn you loose to do these by yourself. Let's see, Doop. take away everything, and CH4, CF4, CH4, there we go. So here it is, and it's all, it's tetrahedral glory. Let's see if I can get it to how I like to look at tetrahedral. I may not be able to, close, nope. Well, feel free to play with it. Uh, perhaps you're going to be better at it than I am. Pull that one down, pull that one down a little bit. Oop, I think I double clicked there. It flew all over the place. There you go, there's my preferred orientation because you've got Three of them going down, one of them going pretty much straight up, almost. Yes, and so um, let's go ahead and draw that. That's more like what it looks like because these bonds here are covered by the fact that this circle is closer to us. We have C, H, 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 H. Let's go ahead and click and show the uh, bond dipoles. And the bond dipoles, just like we might expect, are all going from hydrogen to carbon. And we'll do the best we can to draw them. That's what they look like there. Oop, I just drew them, but let me show you. So, there we go. That's the best drawing I can do. So, approximate something like that. Come close, can in focus. And uh, let's go back to the demo. And let's take away those bond dipoles and click molecular dipole. And when I click molecular dipole and I can move it around, there is none. And that's because this is a nonpolar molecule. If we look at partial charges, there are partial charges in this because there are dipoles. But all four of the dipoles, and we just drew them, exactly cancel out. So on our page, we just want to make sure we note nonpolar. And that's because all of the bond dipoles cancel out. Go ahead and finish this and then please do note that uh, in this space write a paragraph about, you, what, about what you learned um, and you'll be done with this section.